I understand your point, but there are people in this country who feel as though that apology is necessary and it's needed. And there have been other churches in this country that have apologized for their you're, role. You're absolutely in the right, school, Andrew. The Anglican but, Church uh, of Canada, for example. But they're not the Catholic Canada. Church. The Catholic Church know, but, is structured in a different way. I know. And so but, if those people across the country have listened carefully to what's happened in the different dioceses over the years and have read carefully the message of Pope Benedict in 2009 to Phil Fontaine and repeated messages at individual meetings of popes with native leaders, they would understand that this is a journey and a process. So you can't compare us to the, the efforts of the United Church or the Anglican Church or other groups. It is a completely different reality. Well, what about when, in January when Pope Francis um, apologized for the sexual abuse of minors perpetrated by priests uh, in Chile? The Pope was in Chile responding to a very specific situation. We're talking about an issue with the native community. So for world, you what could. would you say to those who are disappointed? Never mind the Prime Minister, but to the indigenous people in this country, the residential I'm, school survivors. I'm speaking with who them. Really I'm talking. Want, who want the Pope to apologize on behalf of the Catholic Church? He is the head of the Catholic Church. I've talked to many of them. I've worked with them. I love them.